A menu from my first real date with MJ. Wish I could have afforded someplace fancier. But she didn't seem to mind. My injured shoulder eventually healed. The bill took a lot longer to pay. Harry's VIP card for the nightclub. Harry always tried to include me. I did was save this kid's balloon from floating away and he made me this. It's the little things that make it all worth it. Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. Tried mixing up a prototype web fluid at Oscorp while Harry had his internship there. Didn't work. That place has always been bad luck for me. Captain Watanabe gave me her cell number when she finally decided to trust me. She's risking a lot. If anyone finds out she's helping me, she'll lose her job. Fisk beat the hell out of me with these. I almost used them for evidence, until MJ pointed out I was trespassing, so I'd probably end up in jail. Typical Parker luck. This piece of the Shocker's original uniform showed me how to protect myself from his blasts. Of course, they always upgrade, don't they? My thesis paper on neurotechnology. This got me the job with Dr. Octavius. This article blaming Spider-Man for electro-killing cops was the last straw. I had to quit taking pictures that helped Jameson print lies about me. Took a bullet from the cops back when they thought I was working with Electro. Good thing textbooks are thick. Too bad they're also expensive. My underarm webs. I thought they might help me glide short distances, but they never really worked. Looked cool, though. I thought web swinging would let me get pizzas delivered fast. And it did. Fast and smashed. My prom boutonniere. Crushed when I had to fight Fisk. That kind of symbolizes my luck with relationships. An Oscorp visitor badge from when I interviewed there. Would have paid well, but Dr. Octavius offered the chance to really make a difference. <laughs> Funny, my fear of heights didn't go away when I got my powers. Had to climb to the top of the Empire State to get over that. Hey, my Mark I web shooters! Managed to improve the storage capacity a lot since then, but the basic design's still the same. MJ wrote this article in the school paper about student protests. She was a heck of a journalist even then. Got some good parts from this old cell phone. I wonder what I could accomplish with a real budget, instead of dumpster diving. When the vulture cracked my eye lens, it almost blinded me. That was a wake-up call. Had to upgrade to a stronger material. The jammer I whipped up to jam vulture's wings. Too bad he improved them after that. With this vial of the lizard's blood, I was able to mix up a cure and turn him back into Dr. Connors. Too bad it didn't last. After I got my powers, I didn't need my glasses anymore. Told everyone I got laser eye surgery with money from the Fisk Science Prize. Used these electrician's gloves in my first fight with Electro. Gave me the idea to add insulation to my costume, which saved my bacon more than once. My ESU ID badge from my semester as a teaching assistant. Didn't have time to stick with it, but I could definitely see teaching again someday. Aunt May's recipe for wheat cakes. <laughs> I could never make it work on my own. Maybe this will help me balance work and a personal life, if I ever find time to read it. 
my Wilson Fisk Science Prize trophy. And check. I couldn't turn it down without arousing suspicion, but no way was I going to take his money. Even though we could have used it. I did accept the lifetime supply of backpacks, though. The infamous dumpling recipe. Should have come with step 10. Try not to burn everything in MJ's apartment. People know my parents died in a plane crash, but I still can't tell anyone they were government agents. Wish I knew more about them. I wish anyone did. Superheroing doesn't leave much time for good hygiene. Gotta get it where I can. I bought this used graphing calculator at a pawn shop. Stopped working in the middle of a trig exam. Huh, you get what you pay for. I could never give this prototype spider tracer enough range to be useful, but I did adapt the tech into my web traps, which really come in handy. When MJ and I applied for this lease, I thought we'd move in together. Instead, we broke up. I can be pretty oblivious sometimes. Rhino almost killed me until I broke this chip off his horn and figured out what his costume's made of. Still wasn't easy to beat him. My back still aches just thinking about it. Oh, oh man. I meant to wash this gym shirt six years ago. P.U. The last ball game Uncle Ben ever took me to. I need to get this framed. I could really use his advice now. Never finished this application for the coffee bean. Would have paid more than what I'm doing now. Almost forgot I bought this snow globe for Aunt May. I think I get my love for this city from her. Hey, my first camera. I got this at a yard sale. Still use this film. I beat this wrestler right after getting my powers. Never had that much money before in my life. Or since, come to think of it. Jameson gave me this at his Bugle retirement party. I thought nobody would listen to his talk show. Shows how much I know. Still not sure if opening this would set the Sandman free, but I'm in no hurry to find out. Oh yeah, that blind guy gave me his card in case Spider-Man ever needs a lawyer. Wait, hold on. If he's blind, how did he know I was Spider-Man? A spider signal! Cool idea, but any light source that made it bright enough was also way too hot. Someday, though. This piece of Mysterio's helmet gave me ideas for my eye lenses. Go ahead, sue me, fishbowl head. The Spidey Squad, my one and only fan club. When Jameson's going off on me, it helps to remember they're out there. Gotta have something to do on stakeouts. Ah, the good luck card from when I left the Daily Bugle to go into research. Some really great people there. And Jameson. Supposedly, Fisk made his fortune selling these spices. I mean, they're good, but not that good. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Why doesn't it ever feel like it? One of these days, I'll work out a fabric that warps sound and light waves. A stealth suit would really come in handy. Wish I knew who made this comic about me. Kid's got a future. Rejected costume designs. Not bad, but I think the white spider was definitely the way to go.